dear students we will be working out the model question paper of 2018 final exam kindly keep ready your textbook and the notebook to write down the main points so before proceeding to the questions let us read carefully the instructions because many times you tend to forget the instructions provided for you so let us read the instructions so follow the prescribed limit while answering the questions so you are aware that the four marks questions have to be answered within 80 to 100 words you may exceed 120 130 words but not more than that but do not cut short your answers it should not be lesser than 80 words or you may exceed 80 words but do not cut short then write the correct question number as it appears on the question paper the question numbers are in sequence throughout the question paper if you observe now when you go to comprehension passage the comprehension passage starts with question number maybe for example 36 or 37 you are not supposed to write 1 2 3 4 and answer the questions 10 questions there you have to follow the exact question number that is written on the question paper you do not write your own question numbers when you um, proceed to the next section next one more questions attempted more than once will be awarded zero even uh, this time for the preparatory exam uh, some of you have answered all the one mark questions at the start then again what you have done is same questions again uh, you have answered at the end thinking that you may get more marks we while we evaluate papers we observe carefully and what happens you are not sure with the answers in the first page the answer is different and the last answer is different in that case your both answers will be wrong you should not supposed to repeat one more questions answers to questions question numbers 24 and 25 should be in sequence and at one place yeah what do you do mostly it's not a proper or correct way of answering you may think we may you can answer like one more questions three questions at the start then in between three questions then at the end four questions it's very bad habit because the one who corrects the paper may not have the patience of looking for your answers that is why you see that one section answers are at one place you can start with four marks six marks at the start no problem but you see that at least that section question answers at one particular place okay as you are aware of all the instructions let us now proceed with the question answers please keep read your textbook open so who looks as a snowy dove to romeo it's very un- easy answer since uh, they have mentioned in the question romeo the answer only should be juliet if at all they do not give you romeo in the question you may get confused you may answer as romeo so in that poem there are only two characters either the answer is romeo or juliet if the if the one person is mentioned in the question answer is another person so if at all they do not mention the name of the person like who looks as a snow widow if they mention that way the question you may get confused so b- please be aware that snow widow is juliet snow widow is juliet next question what does the word bow refer to in the poem on children again there are bow and arrow comparison at the end of the poem on children so bow who are bows bows are 
parents and arrows are children please remember arrows are going far bows do not go bow will be stable at one place and arrows will go far away with the help of the bow so bow is parents and arrows are children so please keep that in mind what does the earth university teach see in this question paper i have added all the questions to you so that you may get a clear idea of the question paper but some of the questions are not there in your uh, syllabus of this year next question what did dona laura carry every day to feed the pigeons in a sunny morning so what did she carry she carried few bread crumbs you all know in a bag to feed the pigeons next who was tammana's rival in the gardener who is tammana's rival rival means what enemy who is tammana's rival most of you are not understanding the questions enemy andre shatru yaru shatru agidru tammana adu enemy is basavayya basavayya was tammana's rival what would the foot like to be that portion is not there for you that lesson is not there this time next question mention the name of the library which was attacked by that also is not there next according to the poet dash makes this earth a heaven so they have given you three options so there are many things the poet mentions that can make earth a heavenly place but let us see don't get confused with the things please keep please be clear about the things the poet mentions in the poem some of you the other day also for preparatory exam you have answered which is not there in the poem simply at all you are writing flowers trees that this no please keep only the concept that poet mentions he sees the beauty in nature in what are the aspects he sees beauty you may see, see beauty in flowers or mud or everything anything but the poet what in what does he see beauty that is important those concepts you should keep in mind so here the poet says that the gentle sun makes this earth a heaven next why do the japanese make a fearful noise while eating soup so you all know when we uh, go through about japanese culture we read that japanese people what do they do the japanese they make fearful noise while they eating soup why do they make when a person is eating soup offered by a host or hostess he must make a fearful noise so as to show a sign of appreciation means uh, i like this soup if i make fearful noise it means that i like the soup or else i do not like the soup it is a sign of appreciation otherwise the host or hostess will think that the guest is ill mannered he has no manners at all if at all you don't make a fearful noise next what does pap stand for in the water so pap stands for people's alliance party people's alliance party the other day also some people are you got confused with that some have written something else answer so please be clear about what is pop and pap usually they ask this questions question number 11 who was the central coordinator of the cycling movement in a, where there is a wheel it is n kannamal not sheela rani chinkat i think the last preparatory exam had this question and most of you have written sheela rani no it is n kannamal next who opposed the kamma it is not there what poem is not there for you now you need to keep your textbook in hand i'm going to explain the answer from the textbook itself okay so that you are clear you can write in your own words answers so describe the attempts made by the ministers in solving the problem of cutting off the criminals head so this is four marks question your answer should be within 
हंड्रेड वर्ड्स यू शुड नो हाउ टू हाउ टू राइट द आंसर्स ब्रीफली इन योर ओन वर्ड्स डोंट गो ऑन राइटिंग एज इट इज द टेक्स बुक इट मे गो अप टू थ्री हंड्रेड और फोर हंड्रेड वर्ड्स बट द आंसर शुड बी रिटर्न ब्रीफली so what do they what are the different ideas they think now they have caught the criminal criminal tam kai ge sikki biddane avanige hege marana dannane kodudu embudana avaru alochana maartare yavella rithi alochanagalanu avaru maartare that is the question okay now it happened a few years ago that a murder was committed in this toy princess domains that is in monaco monaco in monaco what happened in monaco they committed a murder they killed somebody the people of that kingdom are peaceable and such a thing had not happened before first time murder aguda kingdom alli adara madlu yava rithiya ghatane durghatane nadelilla kingdom alli the judges assembled with much ceremony and tried the case in the most judicial manner yen madidrala judges bandru athra so they decided what can be done now okay they decided there were judges and prosecutors and jury men and barristers and they all bandru means when you decide in a court case all these people are there they argued and judged and at last they condemned the criminal to have his head cut off as the law directs so finally what is the direction now to cut off the man's head now what are the plans they are making to cut off the man's head so far so good next they submitted the sentence to the prince the prince said all right for it okay prince said okay you cut the criminal's head now they should cut it how will they cut it so they are planning how to cut it off there was only one hitch in the matter and that was that they had neither a guillotine for cutting heads off nor an executioner so now there is one hitch there is a problem what is that problem they want to cut the criminal head off there is a problem they do not have a machine machine illa alli neither they have an executioner they don't have a person who can cut the criminals head off so there is no machine no executioner the ministers considered the matter and decided to address an enquiry to the french government asking whether the french could not french could lend them a machine and, a, and an expert to cut off the criminal said now what they do they plan they plan and think that if they ask french government they will send the machine french government bali kelidre avaru tamma machine matte executioner nu kalistare that was their plan that is why they are now planning and if so would the french kindly inform them what it could cost so they send a letter to french government and french government replies so how much money what is the cost of french government for a machine and an executioner it is 16000 francs but what happens in france france is uh, having very little population you can't collect so much of money from the people so they say don't want this idea won't work so first idea won't work now the second idea what is the second idea so a council was called to consider what could be done and it was decided to send a similar inquiry to the king of italy the french government is republican and has no proper respect for the king but the king of italy was a brother monarch and might be induced to do the thing cheaper so the letter was written and a prompt reply was received so what is happening now so they think that French government cost is sixteen thousand franc. They can't pay because they do not have so much of money. Now they decide that they should try to the uh, government of Italy. So Italy and, and so they are uh, writing the letter to Italian government. Now let us see the reply. How much do they demand it? They demand it twelve thousand francs. If our twelve thousand francs get there, Italy or even now Monaco is not able to pay that much of money. Okay. they can't collect that much of tax from people uh, 12000 francs so the second idea also failed so they can't practice the second idea also so what was the third idea so another council was called 
they discussed and considered how it could be done with less expense could not one of the soldiers perhaps be got to do it in a rough and homely fashion so what are the thinking why should we ask machine of some other country why should we spend so much of money now en maadabodu nammade sainikar iddare avaru criminal na head annu cut off maadabodu why should we depend on other countries we can have our own resources and end the life of the criminal adre en aagutade the general was called and was asked can't you find a find as a soldier who would cut the man's head off in a war they don't mind killing people in fact that is what they are trained for so the general talked it over with the soldiers to see whether one of them would not undertake the job but none of the soldiers would do it no they said we do not know how to do it it is not a thing we have been taught okay ena telthara sainikar iga they are calling all the soldiers and asking can anyone cut the criminal head off ಆದರೆ ಸೋಲ್ಜರ್ಸ್ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ನೋ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರೈನ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೊ ತ್ರೀ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಆಯಿತು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ದೇ ಥಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಾಟ್ ಟು ಆಸ್ ದ ಫ್ರೆಂಚ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಆಸ್ ದ ಇಟಾಲಿಯನ್ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ಲಿ ದೇ ಥಾಟ್ ದೇ ದ ಓನ್ ಸೋಲ್ಜರ್ಸ್ ಕುಡ್ ಕಟ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಆದರೂ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ದೇ ಕುಡಂಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೈನಲಿ ದೇ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಇಂಪ್ರಿಸನ್ ದ criminal that was the last idea they thought of and they imprisoned the prisoner next question what attitude should parents have towards their children according to the prophet okay iga prophet khalil gibran parents ge advice kodtare ee ondu kavithiyalli what is the advice he is giving let us see that advice and a woman who held a babe against her bosom said speak to us of children so one woman is coming and asking kalil gibran to speak what does he speak about the parents attitude he says that they are your children are not your children they are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself though the parents uh, the prophet speaks that the children are not the property of their parents they are just instruments to bring the children to this earth they are coming from uh, the creator okay they do not belong to their parents so the parents should never think that children are their own property they are ours so they can do anything with that they are puppets in their hand no they come through you but not from you so prophet is telling the parents children are just coming through you you are just instruments in between god and your children you are not the creators of your children just treat the children in that way they are just coming from you they are just your children you can just uh, treat them as coming from god not as your own property and though they are with you yet they belong not to you so they do not uh, belong to the parents they belong to god they are just for few years with their parents so that should be kept in mind by the parents you may give them your love but not your thoughts since uh, parents are children are not parents property the parents cannot give them their thoughts their ideas you do this only you do this that no they can't command their children to do what they wish them to do because the children are very clever they have their own ideas children belong to tomorrow not yesterday not olden days they can't follow the olden days thoughts today so parents just give them the love but don't impose their own ideas on their children he says for they have their own thoughts because children are very creative children have inborn thoughts with them they can think for themselves they can decide for themselves that is why parents should not force on their children you may have their bodies but not their souls so only the bodies of children are with their parents a souls are belong to god they come from god and they go back to god so treat them respectfully 
treat them and respect their individuality for their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow which you cannot visit not even your dreams the souls belong to the tomorrow not yesterday not like oh you do as i did in my childhood days no they belong to future children have their future ideas innovative ideas so they belong to the future you may strive to be like them but seek not to make them like you so prophet is telling parents you can try to be like your children but you don't make them like you like old and days no you learn from the children you learn their thoughts you learn their ideas then you are the for life goes not backward not tarries with yesterday so life doesn't go backward not old and days it goes forward to innovative ideas to some creation new creation so don't impose the old things on your children you are just bows in the hand of the creator your instruments he uses you as you is bows so that uh, what happens the arrows may go swift and far arrows may reach their future arrows may reach their goal so what does he say here he says to the children to the parents not to be so much possessive of their children because it is god who send the children through them and he has god will define their destiny parents are there just to give them their love and affection and not to impose their thoughts here their ideas on their children and force them what to do what not to do okay next question is write a brief note on chipko movement that uh, is not there in your syllabus of this year will omit that question next how did basavaiya start filling his life with all kinds of material wealth yake basavaiya thana life annu ella rithiya material wealth aasthiyanu sangrahislike start madida what is the reason for him okay what is the reason by now the quarrel between these two had sunk in all their supporters tammanna was advised by his supporters about the various means available for getting back his land there was the court of law one could also take recourse to the police please open this textbook and see this answer if you did not want that there were many number of persons ready to attack basavaiya such a war had become virtually inevitable but tammanna was in search of a method that could annihilate basavaiya completely so what happens now basavaiya is acquiring the land of tammanna by force 200 acres now what happens tammanna's friends are telling him you get back that land they are giving him various ideas but tammanna doesn't want all those ideas he has some new ideas what is the new idea to completely destroy basavaiya what does he do for that he hit uh, upon the idea of composing all his experiences in the form of ballads and singing them Now the rivalry between Tammanna and Basavaiya started moving away from things that were visible towards an invisible abstract domain what does Tammanna do now he composes nice ballads he puts into all his experiences with the Basavaiya all the meanness of Basavaiya cruelty of Basavaiya puts in words with in his ballads and starts singing them all people will come to know about basavaiya and they say oh basavaiya is a cruel man basavaiya is a bad man so everywhere the bad name of basavaiya spreads so basavaiya is angry now what to do now you need to compensate isn't it compensate madbeku illadre enagutade tammanana ಕೀರ್ತಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಡೆ ಹರಡ್ತದೆ ಮತ್ತು ಬಸವಿಯನ್ನ ಜನರು ಕೇರೆ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಅದಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಏನು ಮಾಡೋದು ತನ್ನ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧತೆಯನ್ನು ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ದಂತ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ದಂತ ಇವನು ಯೋಚಿಸ್ತಾನೆ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ನ್ಯೂ ಐಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಬಸವಯ್ಯ ಸ್ಟ್ರಂಕ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯುಮಿಲಿಯೇಷನ್ ನವದಲೆಸ್ ಈ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಿಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಈ ಗಾಟ್ ಅ ಪೊಲಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಪ್ಯಾಲ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಲ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಈ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ಅ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಈ bedecked himself with gold diamond and other precious stones but his house looked dull and empty because tammana's books were not there enalla madida avanu 
ಅವನು ಒಂದು ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸ್ ಕಟ್ಬಿಟ್ಟ ದೆನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಡ್ ಇಡ್ ಅಪಾಯಿಂಟೆಡ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೇಸ್ ಇಮ್ ಜನರನ್ನು ತನ್ನ ಮನೆಗೆ ತಂದಿಟ್ಟ ಯಾಕೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹೊಗಳಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅವನ್ನ ಹೊಗಳಿಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಜನರನ್ನು ತನ್ನ ಮನೇಲಿ ತಂದಿಟ್ಟ ದೆನ್ ಈ ಬಡಾಕ್ಟ್ ಇಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ವಿತ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಈ ಪುಟ್ ಆನ್ ಗೋಲ್ಡ್ ಡೈಮಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಷರ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವಿಲ್ ಸೇ ಬಸವಯ್ಯ ಇಸ್ ರಿಚರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ತಮ್ಮಣ್ಣ ಬಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ಲುಕ್ ಡಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಟಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ತಮ್ಮಣ್ಣಸ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಎಂತ ಮಾಡಿದರು ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಮಚ್ ಇಟ್ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಈ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡು ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಫುಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ತಮ್ಮಣ್ಣಸ್ ಬುಕ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಈಸ್ ಹೌಸ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಮೇನ್ ರೀಸನ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಲವ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಟು ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ದ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಹೌ ಡಸ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾ ಬ್ರಾಟ್ ಔಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಟ್ರೂ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೌ ಡಸ್ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಹಪ್ಪನಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಟು ಅ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಲೇಡಿ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಟು ಅರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸರ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗ್ರೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಲೀಪ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನಾಡಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ದ ಫಯರ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಡೌನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಲೋಲಿ ರೀಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡ್ರೀಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಲುಕ್ ಯುವರ್ ಐಸ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಯರ್ ಶಾಡೋಸ್ ಡೀಪ್ ಏನಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾರೆ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಸೊ ಈ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಲೇಡಿ ಲವ್ ವೆನ್ ಶಿ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೆಲ್ ಹರ್ ಹಾಂ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ರೀಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬುಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೀಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬುಕ್ ದ ಬುಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಪೋಯಮ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹರ್ ಅಪ್ರಿಷಿಯೇಟೆಡ್ ಹರ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಸೊ ಇ ಸೆಸ್ ಇನ್ ಹರ್ ಯೂತ್ಫುಲ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯೂತ್ಫುಲ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಲೇಡಿ ಮೆನಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಲೌಡ್ ಹರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಲೌಡ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಲೌಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೋಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗ್ಲಾಡ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಮೆನಿ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಲೌಡ್ ದ ಲೇಡೀಸ್ ಔಟ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಅರ್ ಔಟ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೌಡ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ವಿತ್ ಲವ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಲವ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಫಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟ್ರೂ ಲವ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ದೆ ವೆಂಟ್ ಬಿಹೈಂಡ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಬಟ್ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಈ ಲವ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಪಿಲ್ ಗ್ರೀಮ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲವ್ಡ್ ದ ಸಾರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುವರ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ಸ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಯಂಗ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದ ಲವ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವೆನ್ ದ ಫೇಸ್ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ವೆನ್ ಫೇಸ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ ಗ್ರೋಸ್ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಲವ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಪೋಯೆಟ್ ಡಿ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾಪ್ ಲವಿಂಗ್ ದ ಓಲ್ಡ್ ಲೇಡಿ ಈಗ ವೆಂಟ್ ಆನ್ ಲವಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಈ ಲವ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಸಾರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಫೇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಅವರ್ ಜಾಯ್ಸ್ ಈ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಲವ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಯು ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟುಡ್ ಹರ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಈ ರೆಡ್ ಹರ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈ ಲವ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಸೋ ಮಚ್ ಇ ಟ್ರೂಲಿ ಈ ಲವ್ಡ್ ಹರ್ ಬಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ದ ಲೇಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಬೆಡಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಬೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಡೌನ್ ಬಿಸೈಡ್ ದ ಗ್ಲೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಾರ್ಸ್ ಮರ್ಮರ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಸ್ಯಾಡ್ಲಿ ಹೌ ಲವ್ ಫ್ಲೆಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪೇಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪಾನ್ ದ ಮೌಂಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಡ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೇಸ್ a mid a crowd of stars so what but what happened to the lady she
from the paragraph the point was that only the other day marquis sibe was a not too successful mission school teacher so before coming to politics marquis sibe was a mission school teacher but he was not so successful then he went into politics okay some said just in time to avoid imminent dismissal that is not important for us now we join the politics what happens after he began uh, he joining the politics why people start to praise him because he had two long cars and just built himself the biggest house anyone had seen in these parts just he built a big house he had cars but let it be said that none of the successors had gone to marquis said he he devoted he remained devoted to his people not only that he also started what is that he installed a private plant to supply electricity to his new house okay not only built a house he also installed a running water plant a private plant to supply water to his house to supply electricity to his house that is another achievement that he has made he knew the source of his good fortune and uh, and what does he name his house he named his house as himofia mansions in honor of his village and on that day what did he do he gave a great grand meal to the village people he slaughtered five bulls and countless goats and gave a very good meal to the villagers that is why the village people started to praise him these are the qualities these are the achievements of marquis sibe that made the village people to praise him what are the achievements first of all he built a grand mansion he brought uh, he bought cars then uh, he named his house as umofia mansion he gave the name of the village okay name of his own village he did not leave the village and go far away he installed a water supply electricity supply plant to his house new house he called archbishop to uh, to inaugurate the house and he gave a grand meal on that day all these achievements all these qualities of marquis be made the people to think that marquis be is a great person they started to praise him the last question we'll go through today's is give an account of complicated way of bowing in japan so you know uh, they have very complicated way of bowing there's a mania for them mania means a kind of madness in bowing everybody keeps bowing to everybody else okay you don't know whom to bow and whom not to bow but uh, japanese people know they will have that one kind of rank system in bowing who has to bow to whom they keep in mind the rank standard of a person what job you are doing what is your rank what is your position in the family maybe whom you are to bow whom not to bow everything they know so you bow to the wrong person at the wrong time sometimes we do that you do not clap your hands in front of which is bad or you do which which is worse you will discover that the japanese have a complicated hierarchy in bowing who bows to whom how deeply and how long one of the american states had an early traffic law which laid down that if two cars met at an intersection intersection neither was to move before the other had gone this is not needed you don't try to all this matter so they keep in mind the smallest difference in rank standing age social position in mind while they bow to the other person in many cases there are clear cut differences in position and no difficulties the basic rules inside the family are who bows to whom the wife bows to her husband child bows to her father then younger brothers to elder brother the sister bows to all brothers of whatever age a baby is also are bowing you see babies carried in japanese style on their mothers backs uh, in saddles when mother bows she also bows along with the mother japanese stores employ bowing girls who stand at the top of escalators and whose only duty is to bow deeply and differentially to all and sundry they appoint some girls to just to bow in malls and shopping malls in on the escalators so that they bow to everybody who comes to all and sundry they bow even drivers bow conductors bow to each other at the bus stand people bow to one another all these people even not only people you saw 
in the park uh, a deer nara in the park of nara he saw a deer who is bowing to the author when he gave the food it came naturally to it so not only people bowing to one another but also animals he saw bowing to the person so this is the way of bowing in japanese culture so that's enough for today thank you we'll continue the remaining part in the next video